Singapore is a small country, but the real estate market here is a big deal for investors. However, government regulations limit property ownership, which means investors need to navigate the market carefully to maximize their returns. Hi, I'm Rashan Gidwani. Welcome back to Finance Zen. Today, I'll be sharing with you how the government regulates the market to ensure a level playing field for everyone. The Singaporean government aims to keep housing affordable for locals, impacting housing loans under various frameworks. Let's explore. Seller Stamp Duty SSD is a fee you must pay if you sell a residential property within three years of purchasing it. The fee varies depending on how long you've owned the property, ranging from 12% if sold within a year to 0% if sold after three years. Additional Buyer Stamp Duty for Singaporean citizens, ABSD is an additional stamp duty payable when buying a second or subsequent residential property in Singapore. The ABSD is a government policy aimed at curbing speculation and encouraging more sustainable property buying habits. The tax rates for ABSD vary depending on the buyer's nationality and how many properties they already own. Total Debt to Servicing Ratio Total debt to servicing ratio limits your monthly debt repayment to a portion of your income, and this limits how much you can borrow to pay for investment properties. It ensures that your combined debt repayments, including housing loans, do not exceed 60% of your gross monthly income. Loan to value ratio. Loan to value is the maximum amount of housing loan a person can borrow, which decreases with the number of active mortgages. Singaporeans can borrow 55 to 75 percent of the property value for the first mortgage and 25 to 45 percent for the second mortgage. In the next episode, we'll discuss how to invest in a property that has a higher chance of being leased out or bought again. Till then, stay zen. Ciao!